Once again, I am back in Bedford to ride the Marston Vale line. I feel like I'm doing this every week at this point. But if you remember last time I tried to ride the Marston Vale line, you'll know it didn't exactly go to plan. There was a, a little cheeky signal failure causing trains to get cancelled and my plans to be utterly scuppered. But I'm not that easily defeated. I'm back once again to hopefully tick off the rest of the line, provided that nothing goes wrong this time. So, time for Marston Vale line round two. Let's get the train. All right, well, we are back. So let's uh, hope everything goes okay this time. I am hoping this is the last time I will need to come here because I won't really have another opportunity to come back um, before the whole one pound ticket thing gets you know, dropped because it's dropping on the 19th of May, I think, and then they're going back to regular fares. So if I want to get my money's worth, it's best I hopefully get it all finished off now. You know, I decided just for a little change from the norm, I've sat in the uh, longitudinal seating area. Anyway, we are going to be taking this train all the way to Lidlington as our first stop. So last time I was here on the Marston Vale line, I was able to visit three out of, I think, ten stations between Bedford and Bletchley. Um, I'm hoping to stick off the rest today. That would be nice. We're at Millbrook, so we're uh, further along than we were last time, so... So we've made it to Lidlington now, which is one of those weird stations where, you know, the trains arrive on both platforms at the same time, so therefore if I were to stay here I'd have to wait an hour. So. I don't really fancy doing that, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk now from here to Millbrook. Alright, well, I'm leaving, so bye station, bye road, and uh, yeah, so uh, let's go to Millbrook. This is a pleasant little village. Huh. I love finding little nooks and crannies like this while visiting stations. It's kind of one of the big reasons why I do it in the first place, so I can find places like this. So I follow this road now for about two miles or something, which is admittedly not the best content, but oh well, it won't last long. There is about a half mile or so stretch though down here where there is no pavement, so I'm going to have to try and get through that quickly, hopefully. Level crossing. Nice, nice. Love me a level crossing. Can a level crossing nerd in the comments please tell me what kind of lights that level crossing uses? It looked like it was not like the typical LED ones you see, the, the bulbs looked a little bit different. I don't know, it was, it's mastered level crossing, FYI. Right, this is the, uh, the bit without pavement, so uh, yeah, let's uh, pick up the pace a little bit. I don't want to be here for too long. It's national speed limit as well. If I'd come slightly earlier in the year, then these verges would have been a bit less overgrown and I could have probably walked there, but no, I'm having to go with the strategy of only of like walking in the road most of the time, but then when a car comes, I'll just step into the verge and that works just fine. Looks like, though, we are getting back to the bit of road with pavement and we seem to have cleared the uh, no pavement section. Cool. Station road. So I'd be inclined to believe that it's just down here. I believe this path right here basically runs right along the railway line and leads directly to Stuart B. Oh dear. The building here is looking a bit worse for wear. Looks like it's had a fire or something. Oh dear. All right, here we are at Millbrook, about 15 minutes before the train going the other way. There's a lot of uh, stuff about Captain Tom Moore here. Interesting. So, out from Millbrook, we will be heading to Aspley Guys station. So once we get to Aspley Guys, we will have about a 45 minute wait there because there's nothing really else I can do. Um, so, but then after that, that'll be kind of the end of the sort of slow paced bit. We'll have ticked off the first three in about the span of two hours, but the final four, we will get done in just over an hour and a bit. So, 
it will get faster, I promise. <laughs> Alrighty, off we go, two stops to Aspley Guide. Oh, my bad, turns out it's actually three stops, not two. Forgot where Ridgemont was. Here's Aspley Guide. Alright, Aspley Guide. But uh, the thing is, I've got about 44 minutes here. So, uh, yeah, let's, um, let, let's just have a look, I guess. <laughs> the station's so bright in sunny weather. It's like all the, the white fencing and everything. It's just, oh, should have brought sunglasses specifically for this station. Nice little waiting shelter as well. Very uh, echoey, but gets the job done. It's also quite rare, I think, that you get bits of platform like this that are basically just at track level. They're not raised at all. You can just reach out and touch it if you wanted. Don't do that. All right, well, yeah, there's not much I can really do here in this time, so, uh, yep, see you in about 40 minutes. Right, the level crossing has come down. You can see the train down the line, down there. Woohoo, right, let's get ready. Okay, we are taking this train just one stop, I believe, to Ridgemont. We don't have long in Ridgemont, it's like a 10 minute changeover. Ridgemont, or like stations like that, pretty, pretty much most of the stations along this line, um, where the only thing separating the platforms is you have to go over a level crossing. And yeah, any, any time I have to do a change there where it's like under 10 minutes, it's like, ooh. Oh god, what if the train's like a few minutes late and then the level crossing barriers don't come up? It's a little worrying, but this train is on time, so I think we should be okay. Alright, good, the barriers came up, yay. So, uh, yeah, about nine, eight minutes until the train the other way comes. These last four are going to be done a lot quicker comparatively to the first three we did. So that'll be, that'll be nice. So we get the next train out of here to Bowbrick Hill, and then the wait at Bowbrick Hill is the kind of last long-ish wait we have. It's half an hour. Um, but then after Bowbrick Hill, we just have Woburn Sands and Fenny Stratford. All right, off we go to Bowbrick Hill. I have no idea what the hell the wind is doing to my hair today, but... I'm rolling with it. Yep, we've just left uh, Woburn Sands. So the next station is Bowbrick Hill. Well, here's Bowbrick Hill. I'm spending something like half an hour here, so it's not too big a deal. It seems to just be like housing estates and industrial stuff as per usual around here, so. Yeah, I'll just stay in the station and just wait. It's not that bad of a wait. I can do it. Oh look, there's another one of them. A uh, old London Midland sign up there. So from now, there is about 20 minutes until the train back. Uh, we get that train to Woburn Sands. Then it's about a 20 minute wait at Woburn Sands. Then we do Woburn Sands to Fenny Stratford and then we'll have completed the entire Marston Vale line. Okay, yep, the train we want to get has left Bletchley, so yeah, at least we'll have a train to Woburn Sands. It's, yeah, everything's gone surprisingly well this time round. I'm glad. I'm glad I came back for round two, and I'm glad it's worked out. I mean, I, it's, it's, it's still perfectly possible I could have spoken too soon and I don't get Fenny Stratford, but we can hope. Who's been tying tea bags to the fences? I, welcome to Britain, everybody. All right, Bowbrick Hill done. Two to go. Woburn Sands and Fenny Stratford. And yeah, look, three, two minutes later, here comes Woburn Sands. Oh, 
So yeah, we've got like 20 minute wait in Woburn Sands. So once again, I'm just going to the other platform and just waiting. So the train is in fact running. That's a good sign. If it can just continue doing that to finish Stratford, then I will be very happy. I don't know how well it picks up on camera, but you can also still see um, Aspley Guys station down the line back there. It's so bright in the sunlight because of all the, you know, like the white fences and all. It's just so reflective and bright. Ugh. All right, this is it, the final bit to Fenny Stratford, just two stops down. I will have finally finished the entire Marston Vale line. Bowbrick Hill, one stop to go. Yes, finally. Removing heavy luggage and pushchairs. But that's it, Fenny Stratford, Marston Vale line done. Well, my trials and tribulations have finally paid off. We've made it to Fenny Stratford, and that means I've now visited every single line, no, every single station on the Marston Vale line. Ah, that feels good. Well, yeah, it's all paid off. Very good. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you for supporting the channel.